couldn't be at peace knowing that I couldn't even couldn't even visit her. I didn't even know where the freezers were here, and even if I did, I can't. There's, there's no closure in, in that. Now there is. A painful chapter closed for Montrealer Jimmy Koliakoudakis now that the Notre Dame des Neiges Cemetery reopened on Monday. The largest cemetery in Canada had been shut down for nine months due to a labor dispute. Koliakoudakis's 89 year old mother, Penelope, died in February and her body wasn't buried until the end of August after a July deal had been reached to end the strike. He was among the many families protesting demanding the reopening. Religiously and culturally, we need to bury as quick as possible. And finding out that uh, she's going to be uh, put on standby, and not only that, but in a freezer, there's no dignity in that. And hundreds of family members went through such a horrific ordeal for some negotiations. I'm not taking away any negotiations. They, everyone has the right to a better uh, working conditions and, and, and what have you. but not at the expense of making hundreds and hundreds of families suffer. We will be dealing differently, managing differently with our employees so to prevent such a situation. So, and hopefully that's not going to be the case in like for them four years from now. Cemetery workers were seen surveying the grounds Monday, taking in the extent of the cleanup. Branches still cover many graves after April's ice storm. Two weeks ago, we restarted the in-ground burials, and that's, that's good. We did about 50 already. Families were happy to be, uh, to be called. Even though there's, a, there's still a strike going on, I want to make sure that people understand that our white collar are not back uh, to, uh, to the job. I hope they work it out, and I really hope that they take into consideration the families that are suffering in the future uh, before they go ahead and uh, decide on something that has such a major impact on all of our uh, community. She's at peace now. She always wanted to be with her husband. They've been together since they got married and they, they weren't apart until my dad died about 15 years ago. Now they're finally together and uh, they're, you know, my mom's buried now with, with him. I'm gonna go light a candle for both of them together this time. In Montreal, Alicia Rubertucci, City News. We're asking for decent salary and uh, a minimum of workers that the cemetery just want to reduce. Although the Notre Dame des Neiges Cemetery has reopened to the public, office workers remain on strike. Around 12 people are off the job and were present at the cemetery's front gate on Monday morning. They've been off the job for almost a year with workers demanding better salaries and more staff. La Fabrique de la Paroisse Notre Dame de Montréal, the non-profit organization in charge of managing the cemetery, said negotiations are ongoing and that a recent proposal was rejected, but the union says they responded and are waiting to hear back. We did a return two weeks ago. We're waiting for their answer. Uh, we hope that they will understand our value because right now the administration office is just closed and there's two, uh, two, um, two workers inside and three scabs, so... I'm sure that if they hire SCAB, they, they need someone to take care of the family. La Fabrique said administrative services to families should resume without a problem and they hope to reach an agreement soon.